How's it going guys? Blaine here for Bridge 4 Games and today we have another rental team that we're providing for you guys to uh, try out yourself on the ladder. It's a really fun team that was given to me by a friend of the channel, uh, Christopher Wrights. Uh, he's a very good friend of ours and uh, I've known him for quite a long time back in my old uh, Magic days. And uh, he gave us this team here which is actually doing really really well on the ladder. Um, and he was pretty much hellbent on using Kirim Black. And so that's what we have here for you guys. As you can see we have a Kirim Black. Uh, with weakness policy as our restricted. And the reason we're using weakness policy is because we're going to be able to self proc it um, with Comfy using Draining Kiss. And then it also has Floral Healing, floral healing um, Trick Room and Ally Switch to kind of provide that supportive help to uh, cure him. And then we also have Suicune with Snarl, Calm Mind, Scald, and Ice Beam. And we have a Defiant Thunderous with uh, Assault Vest, which is very, very important against things like Kyogre. And it's got Fly, Wild Charge, Superpower, and Lash Out, because you got to deal with those Spectre Ears. Uh, the um, Calyrex, Ghost Rider, rather. And then we have Mind Shout, which has Fake Out, Wide Guard, Close Combat, and Coaching. And it's got Inner Focus, which is awesome as well. And it has Coaching, which is a great combo with Curum, because it has a way to deal with um, Curum's sort of bulky issue, as well as the fact that Curum needs a little more attack to kind of get going. So coaching is really the perfect option to help out Kiram there. And then we have Rotom Heat to uh, kind of finish things off with a kind of standard set with Overheat, Thunderbolt, Nasty Plot, Protect, and Citrus Berry. So alright guys, that's what we have for you guys. We're going to go ahead and get started. And we're going to go ahead and hit the uh, ranked battles here. And guys, again, while we get started, I just want to take a second to remind you guys to please um, like this video if you do enjoy this kind of content. And remember to subscribe to Bridge 4 Games on YouTube because we have new content like this coming up every single day of the week. And on top of that, guys, uh, we still have our Pokemon Day promotion going on. If you guys like uh, any of our videos, if you subscribe to the channel, and if you comment on any of our videos, I want free Pokemon, you'll be automatically entered into our drawing to win six battle-ready shiny legendaries consisting of Kyogre, Groudon, Dialga, Xerneas, Yveltal, and, of course, Necrozma. All shiny, all ready to go, and the winner, our first place drawing, will get all six mons in one shot. Second place, in case you don't win the first one, is two Zerud, the normal one and the Dead Eye one, straight from Japan, so they are 100% legit from codes from the Japanese movies. Shouts to my buddy Jason, who gets me all those codes from Japan, by the way. So, alright, we're going to be facing Taylor here, who has a considerably lower rating in 15,000. Uh, so we want to pick up a win here, and he has a very interesting team. Taylor here has... Um, Duraludon, Whimsicott, Landorus Therian, Yveltal, Rhydon, not Rhyperior, Rhydon, and Indeedee Female. So, this is a very unusual team. I'm not entirely sure how I want to approach this, <laughs> if I'm being totally honest. Um... Thunderous team is very, very good, except for the fact that he has um, Rhydon. Suicune also presents as a pretty interesting option here because it's very good against Rhydon, and it's decently good against Suicune, or sorry, um, Landorus and Yveltal. So I think I'm going to bring Suicune and. I could bring Comfy. I kind of want to go Suicune Thunderous with Curum in the back and Comfy. I really don't want to bring Rotom because he's a lot of moves that can, or a lot of Mons that can handle it. And I don't really particularly want to run Mind Shout when he has a lot of Mons that can handle it pretty easily as well. Um, I normally would consider Mind Shout as a really good option for Duraludon, but we have Super Power off of um, Thunderous anyway, so that should cover that pretty well. Shout out to another guy who has all three Pokedexes done. So, good job to you, Taylor. Alright, so he goes Whimsicott, Duraludon. Now, he could very well be going for a Tailwind and then, like, some 
you know, giant big old move. Um, very interesting here. Um, do we think it's gonna go for like an eject button? I'm gonna go for a snarl. And I'm gonna go for a... I'm gonna go for an airstream into the Whimsicott, which will be able to pick up the KO with the Snarl. And this way, it gives us some time. If he decides to go for, um, maybe like a Draco Meteor, um, the Max Wormwind, we'll get our Defiant off and actually get a boost there. So I'm not entirely sure what he's gonna go for here, but I'd like to get the speed boost to counteract what I assume is going to be a, um, Tailwind coming here from Whimsicott. It could be a Jack Button. Taunt! Okay. Didn't predict that one, gotta admit. Alright, so now we're gonna see the item it's rocking. Probably a Sash. Okay, yeah, it's Focus Sash, which means it is going to die when we snarl it. But more importantly, we picked up that ever so important speed boost with Whimsicott, which is crucial. Crucial, crucial, crucial. Nice, and we lowered Duraludon. This was a great turn for us. Now, as far as in the back, I would really actually hope he might have Landorus, um, because that would actually be fantastic for us. But yeah, Suicune takes that like a champ. Holy cow. Um, yeah, at plus one speed, that gives us a nice buffer for anything my opponent may be doing. Uh, so certainly, you know, depending on what he brings in, we're in a pretty okay spot right now. Um, I would have been much more afraid if he had gone for a Tailwind there, but obviously he didn't, so we're okay. Nice, Landris went for the Intimidate, which does actually activate our Defiant. Oh, that's so good. So good, so good. Alright, I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam into Landorus. And I'm going to go for a Knuckle on Duraludon. Even if he switches, he didn't have any Ghost Mons or anything, so I'm pretty okay with the Knuckle here, because that'll actually get us to plus uh, two uh, attack. So he's probably going to Dynamax. It's in a level ball. It's probably Landorus, even though it doesn't necessarily feel like that's the best move. Yeah, okay. That Landorus does look really cool. I love the way it looks Dynamaxed. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and get our Knuckle off first here, which I imagine should be able to take out Duraludon. And it does. Oh wait, did that hang in there? Wait a minute, it looks like it went to one. Oh man, it totally did! Holy cow, okay! He could be policy here, which he's not. Okay, he is going for the Rock Ball into um, Thunderous. That did uh, a surprising amount of damage, I must say. Um, Thunderbolt again, okay. I still can't get over that damage we just took from, uh, from Landorus. Holy cow. I mean, it makes sense, but still, that was just, without stab even, that was just a ton of damage. Holy moly. Um, I'm gonna go for the Snarl. And I'm gonna Airstream into Landorus. And really, guys, we're not reinventing the wheel here. I just want to do some damage to Landorus that's gonna get consistent neutral stab damage off. And I'm going to use Snarl to hopefully pick up the KO on Duraludon and finish off Landorus if we do need to go that route. So now he does very wisely, I might add, go for a um, Protect here to draw out my last turn of Dynamax. Oh man. And Duraludon avoided and we got critted. Holy cow, what a blowout. Okay. Alright, so now we need a bit of a plan here. Because that was awful sauce for us. Um, we have Comfy in the back. 
And Comfy feels pretty good here. Um, early riser indeed. Um, I'm gonna go for another Ice Beam into Landorus and... I'm gonna attempt to Draining Kiss Landorus just to get it into a manageable range to where I feel like the Ice Beam should pick it up. Good, yeah. Did just enough damage that I wanted to see. And that picks up the KO. Great. And on the following turn, we have Comfy's um, Draining Kiss to be able to drain Duraludon. And then uh, whatever comes in, we should be able to handle pretty nicely. But we should take this pretty well. Yeah. We are also um, Rocky Helmet on the um, Comfy. Um, basically, just in case it does take any you know, like physical moves, which there are a ton of them running around right now, um, you're able to deal some damage back to the attacker. And given the amount of bulk that this Comfy has, that's a very, very handy thing to have. And Rhydon comes in. Okay. Shiny, no less. Um, I'm going to go for a Calm Mind, and I'm going to go for a Draining Kiss on Duraludon. Just to basically remove that element from the game, because clearly they should KO it. Yeah. And I'm just going to go for the Calm Mind here, really just to ensure that we get the uh, one hit KO on the following turn, and also just to kind of see what Rhydon's going to go for here. I know it's Eviolite. But it does also have that boost right now from the sand, so we just want to kind of play this a little carefully here. And it avoids that. Well, I guess that makes up for us missing the Snarl earlier. And on the following turn, guys, I'm just going to go for a Scald and a Floral Healing. And that should pretty easily be the game for us, and we'll go to the next game. Scald and a Floral Healing. And this should very nicely wrap up game one. By the way, shoutouts, floral, floral healing might be one of the best animations in the game. It is just beautiful. And he is four times weak to this, so I imagine this is probably going to help. Did not KO, holy cow. Yeah, Stone Edge Ride, uh, Ride, uh, Ride On is extremely, extremely, uh, well, sorry. Eevee Light Ride On is extremely bulky, and Stone Edge from it is extremely strong. The right on is actually a very, very tough mod. Alright, now this Scald is going to finish him off, and we'll actually just go for the Draining Kiss on right on for reasons. Yeah, you, you chip away, Comfy. You're, you're here to help. <laughs> yeah, I recovered like 12 points. That's pretty good. And we Scald here just to finish him off. And we get to go to our next game. And a shiny Suicune looks fantastic too, by the way. It looks absolutely gorgeous. So we defeated Taylor here, which I'm glad about because our rating would have taken a significant drop if we uh, would have lost there. And now we're going to go ahead and find another opponent here. I was a little worried about that Rhydon because um, Kyurem does not um, match too nicely into that. Alright guys, so we're going to jump back in here. I actually want to take a look at my opponent's team here and just kind of see what he was using. Um, because he did have some interesting stuff there. So we had an AV Duraludon, that's pretty standard. Flash Cannon, Draco Meteor, Thunderbolt, and Solar Beam. And he, then we have Whimsicott with Sash. Okay, did have Tailwind, Fake Tears, Moonblast, and Taunt. That makes sense why he led that with Duraludon. Uh, Lumberry, okay, and he must have had the uh, SD, yeah. Alright. Yveltal. Oh, it's the event one. Uh, it has Living Wing, Dark Pulse, and Heat Wave. Very cool. And Rhydon, obviously Eviolite. Stone Chaos Power, Helping Hand, Protect. Very cool. And DD Female running uh, Expanding Force, Follow Me, Protect, Helping Hand. So, guys, that's actually really cool. So, shout out to Taylor. Uh, you know, if you do see this, uh, good luck in your future events, buddy. And, uh, you know, keep using Rhydon. It's a really cool mod. So, all right, we're going to go and ahead and find another opponent here. We actually gained quite a few points there, which is nice. And uh, we're going to go ahead and look for another opponent here. We found him. So we found Ben, who is uh, 1296. And all right, so Ben here also using a Suicune, but he has Yveltal, Incineroar, Metagross, um, Suicune, 
Rillaboom, and uh, Regilecki. Man, oh man, oh man, this is not a matchup where Kurum is terribly happy. Um, it matches up very well against some of the Mons, but it does not like Metagross. I feel like I need to bring Rotom as a lead, um, solely because it handles so many of what my opponent has here. Um, Add that up, Link. Um, I kind of like Thunderous here as well. Uh, if he goes for any of the drops, like uh, Electroweb or Incineroar with Intimidate, we'll get a boost there, which seems like a very good way to go about doing this. Um, Suicune is interesting, although it gets eaten alive by two of his mons, and I don't know what Comfy does here either. Um, I'm going to bring Curum and Comfy in the back. Like, his mons are interesting because they're fast enough where you need an answer to deal with them, but they are at the same time slow enough where Trick Room is irrelevant, or Trick Room is not guaranteed to work for you all the time. So, alright, he goes Metagross to Akuma. Now, this feels to me like he may have like an Icy Wind to try and help manipulate the speed a little bit in his favor. Um, but no matter what, I'm very happy with our leads. Um... I'm gonna go for a nasty plot, and I don't see anything in the back that really make me not want to do this. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a nasty plot, and I'm going to actually Dynamax and Max Lightning into Suicune. All right, everybody stayed in too. All right, cool. I suppose he could be going for like an Ice Punch, or rather like a Max Hailstorm, but I don't, I don't think that's too significant a concern. He's going to Max, and it's 100% going to be Metagross, I mean, it's got to be. Alright. Big meta. Boom. Metagross is such a cool Pokemon. I really love it. I have a real love-hate relationship with Metagross, but right now I'm in the phase where I really do enjoy it quite a lot. Lightning Berry. Okay. Still gonna get a lot off here, I would think. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful damage. I'm very curious to know what he's going to go for here. Tailwind, very simple, okay. Pretty straightforward. Rockfall, okay. Is he going into he, into Rotom? He is. is Rotom take it? Barely. Alright, we do get our berry proc, which is very nice. Okay, so now we gotta come up with a bit of a plan here. <laughs> I love the way Rotom looks. He looks so happy to be just, you know, juicing up there, getting nice and strong. Alright, so the electric terrain, ironically enough, does not really impact either of my mons here. So, I'm gonna actually protect and go for a max airstream into Suaku. And I want to do this so we can recoup some of the speed, and then the following turn I can go for another airstream. And hopefully be able to uh, capitalize on you know what we have going here. He could be going for Rockfall into the um, Thunderous, but Steel Spike, okay. 
you know, it does respectable damage, but again, it does boost him, which is kind of a problem, so it's something to consider. So we do not take out Suicune. Darn. Okay. The plus one speed, the plus one defense boost from uh, Metagross definitely helped there considerably. Um... Here's the thing, I don't have any good switch-ins for what's presented in front of me right now. So I think unfortunately I have to go for the double protect. No, that, that's bad. I don't need to do that. I'm gonna switch in Comfy. And I'm going to go for the Knuckle on Suaku. And this should finish off Suicune. But give us both, give me the attack boost so on the following turn I can still present some damage with Thunderous. Max Guard. Great. So we're going to take out Suicune here. Lovely. Okay, great. We made a good call there, guys, and it paid off. That was what we wanted. Okay. Now we got some decisions to make. We need to stall out his remaining turns of uh, Dalewind. And a lot of it's going to depend on what he brings in here. Regilecki, okay. Alright, alright. Hmm. I'm going to go for a Floral Healing into Thunderous. Do I think he's going to try and go for a, a uh, Electro Web? That feels like wildly terrible. I'm going to go for the Lash Out. Ah. I don't know if he's... I don't think he's going to try and drop my stats here. I don't think he's crazy enough to do that. I'm going to go for the superpower into Regilecki. I just want to get Regilecki off the, off the board. I don't want to consider that to have to be an issue anymore. We are going to go up to full, though, which is lovely. He did go for the web. Ah, okay. So, he juices our attack. Do we get a miss? Okay, nope, we don't. That's really frustrating. Okay, um... Alright, so his Tailwind petered out, which we needed. Um... I mean, I have to bring in Curum here. So we're still in electric terrain. We're gonna go for it. Good old ally switch and a fusion bolt into Metagross. In electric terrain, this should do quite a lot of damage, I would imagine. We are going to get slowed down, which kind of stinks, but Regilecki isn't going to do too much to cure him, uh, because we do resist all of its moves, at least hypothetically. Oh no, that is awful. Okay. Yeah, with Comfy dying, uh, that is a little bit of a beating, because we're still going to take the hit from Metagross, but if we can tank this, which we do, we get our policy off. Alright, alright, hold on now. They should do pretty good at taking out Metagross, or at least bringing him down, but not taking him out. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's tricky. I feel like the obvious play is a Rock Slide, yeah? Especially when he has another Mon in the back.
Yeah, we don't even know what he has in the back. Um, I'm just going to go for a Protect and a Overheat into Metagross. I don't think it's going to make much difference. Um, but yeah, GG's to our opponent. He played very well here, obviously. Nice. Okay. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and just give it to him on the following turn. And uh, we'll go ahead and try to get one more in with his team, I think. To really try and show it off a little bit. So, all right, yeah, GG's, Ben. Uh, you know, congrats. And uh, we're going to go ahead and pick up our next opponent here. I do, I gotta say, they really went above and beyond making Curum look amazing in this uh, format. It just looks absolutely fantastic. Like, the amount of detail they really gave it with, like, the, uh, you know, power generator tail and all that stuff looks fantastic. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and get one more in here. Yeah, this team, when we uh, were looking at it, we did notice it seems to have a little bit of problem with Metagross if it is protected well, which obviously it was here. So, we're going to be facing a Japanese player with a 3,011 ranking, and he has a Sand Core, which is very, very interesting here. Um, so he's got Yveltal... Yveltal, um, Tyranitar, Gastrodon, Whimsicott, Excadrill, and Incineroar. Looks like a, uh, Series 6 team here. Um. Mineshow is, like, really randomly good here. I feel like a lot of what we're going to do is going to depend on what my opponent tries to go for here. Yeah, Thunderous isn't bad, as long as I don't take a really big rock fall. I'm going to actually go Mind Shao Thunderous. I really want to bring Curum. It's just so risky here with some of the mons he has. Um... You know, I feel like if I can deal with Gastrodon, Suicune is pretty good. And I'm going to bring Kyurum to help finish things off. Yeah, I think I like this. Okay. Yeah, Sand is a very interesting thing. You don't see all that much anymore, but it is a very, very powerful team. Um, with a lot of very, very strong moves, if you can get that going. So, alright, let's see what my opponent goes for here. And we're in the uh, Rock Gym, it looks like. Veltal and Whimsicott. Very nice. Okay. So we are sashed on the um, Mind Shao. I'm just going to go for a Fake Out into Whimsicott and a Max Airstream into Whimsicott as well. I feel like he's going to try to switch Yveltal into a Ground Mon, which is why I'm not going to go for a Max Lightning there. Um, but really, step one is we absolutely must deny Tailwind from going up. Because if it does go up, that's just a horrendous situation for us to be in, and we don't really want to be in a situation where we're on the back foot trying to recover from that. But Mind Shadow with Fake Out here is going to be very, very helpful. Um... Yveltal could also be going for a Tailwind, or uh, excuse me, a Max Airstream here. Uh, but we are seeing now that we are faster than his Yveltal, or he's not maxing it. So, either way, both of those scenarios are actually quite good for me. Um, because it either means that he's not going to Dynamax and not get the boost this turn, or he is slower, and therefore, after we get our boosts, I'll still be faster. I really enjoy it if he maxed one to die. Alas, doesn't happen. I can dream. I can dream, guys.
Alright, so we get our fake air off into Whimsicott. Nice. And our airstream. So that's going to be a dead Whimsicott. And now the question is, what does my opponent go for? I imagine it would have to be an airstream to just counteract what we're doing. Um, it might not be, but... Yeah, okay. Thank God for Focus Dash! <laughs> Alright. Now the other really cool thing, guys, is both of our Mons, Mind Shao and Thunderous, both have the uh, Speed Boost here. However, our opponent, um, whatever's coming in is not going to help them. And it's a Tyranitar. Okie dokie, Alan Okie. Alright, so we get a turn left with Mind Shao. I feel like the obvious play is to go for a Protect, because he knows that we have close combat. Or, well, he knows we have a fighting move at the very least. So I'm going to actually go for a Coaching into Thunderous. And I'm going to go for a Max Lightning into um, Yveltal. Oh, good play. Okay, he didn't go for that. Alright. Protect. Okay. Cool. Alright, so we are just going to get our coaching off, which is fine. Great. <clears throat> Absolutely perfect. Alright, so now the question is, what do we do about Mr. Yveltil over there? Um, well, I mean, like, the obvious choice is to bring in Suikun. Um, I have kind of a lot of options here um, because it's so tricky. Velto can be run either way. Um, I feel like maintaining speed is probably the most important here, as Velto doesn't really threaten my mons really at all. Um, I'm going to go for. I'm gonna go for a Scald and a Max Knuckle into Tyranitar. He could switch out into Gastrodon, which I feel like is probably pretty likely. He did not. Okay. Well, then that is a dead, dead Tyranitar. I mean, it's down to Sash, which is fine. Great. Even better. So, Tranatar is going to get off some moves here. He could go for a, a decently large Rock Slide. Um, which, I mean, it feels like it would have to be the correct play here. Okay, it chipped us pretty hard, but didn't, you know, do anything. It flinched. Are you kidding me? Okay, flinches, flinches, flinches. All right. Like the thing is, we just need to get rid of um, Tyranitar, no matter what. Um, Oh man, that is such a pain in the ass. Pardon my French, guys. Sorry. Um. I'm gonna Ice Beam the Aveltal. And. I'm gonna go for a Lash Out into the Tyranitar. Dark Pulse. Okay. Clearly into Thunderous, the biggest threat on the board, which makes sense. Tarantar. Oh, we use Lash Out. Okay, great. Take that out. Alright, I was getting pretty uh, pretty nervous there. Tarantar is so much power in one very, very simple package, and it's so ch such a scary, scary mon to deal with. Oh, okay, we got a freeze. Alright, well...
Oh, policy. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I don't ever like to, you know. I mean, look, so obviously we, we sort of took an element of skill out of the situation here by having him freeze, which it is what it is. I, I'm happy it happened because it made a situation that was tricky a little more manageable. Um, and we have a Pokemon here with a Japanese name, Excadrill. Okay. Huh. I'm going to go for the Scald. Do we think Excadrill is Sandrush? I don't know, but I'm going to go for the Wild Charge into Yveltal. I can't play, you know... Oh my god! <laughs> wow! Wow! Okay. Immediate thought, too. Nice. Nice, dude. Okay. Missed there would have been very nice. Karma! Okay. Oh boy, that is some frustrating stuff. Okay. Let's try to think about this, guys. How many turns are left of sand? One. Okay. Um. I'm gonna go for the protect here to get rid of the sand. And then hope that on the following turn I have enough speed to outspeed the um, the Excadrill. Iron Head, yeah. All right. Well, that is step one for me to be able to somehow pull this out. Um, Yeah, I'm going to go with the Icicle Spear. They're not terribly bulky. Um, so we know Dark Pulse is going to go off first. I don't think I'm going to... Wow, okay. That... Is that a crit? Jeez. All right, well, guys, um, you know, GG's to my opponent there. Um, and, guys, definitely this team, you know, we ran into a couple of very tricky matches there, and, um, you know, obviously we didn't win them all. Um, but, guys, give this team a try. It's actually really a lot of fun. And, um, you know, it's definitely got some very interesting components going for it. Um, coaching is very, very useful with both the mods we have here. And it's just a very cool team to use and experiment with. Um, I think, you know, we got particularly Sand is a bad matchup for this team, but I don't think that that's a... I don't think that should be indicative of the overall strength of the team because the team is very, very powerful as a whole. So... Guys, that's what we got for you here. Please give this team a try, and shout out to Chris who gave us a team. Team is absolutely awesome. A lot of fun to play with, um, and you know, using Comfy with you know Draining Kiss, Weakness Policy stuff is always a good time. So that's what we have for you guys today. Thank you so much for being here with us on Bridge Four Games. If you guys like this kind of content, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel because we have new videos going up like this every single day. And guys, if you also really really like this kind of content, make sure you hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. And on top of that, guys, remember to enter our drawing for our six battle-ready legendary Pokemon, all shiny, coming out on Pokemon Day. So, guys, that's all we have for you. And, guys, please make sure you check out our sponsor, Trollandtoad.com. And remember to use the code BRIDGE4, all caps, when you check out. You'll save some on our order, and you help the channel. So, guys, thanks so much, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!